almost all car brands are going to be making electric cars in 2023, which means 2023 will be full of new electric car reveals. If you want to see and get to know all of them from one video, today is your lucky day. Let's get started. Toyota BZ4X To be released in 2023, Toyota's BZ4X crossover vehicle will be a stylistic departure from the company's gasoline-powered SUVs, and it will represent the company's return to the electric vehicle category. With the front-wheel drive configuration, Toyota anticipates an all-electric vehicle with a range of up to 250 miles on a single charge. A more powerful twin motor in the all-wheel drive variant, which is available as an option, should limit the vehicle's range. However, Toyota has not supplied any details on that particular model. The BZ4X will be equipped with fast charging as standard, and Toyota promises that the solar panels integrated into the car will generate enough energy to allow the vehicle to go around 1,000 miles each year. A front-wheel drive system with a single electric motor produces 201 horsepower, but an all-wheel drive system with two electric motors produces 215 horsepower, bringing the total possible power to 215 horsepower. Toyota claims that an all-wheel drive variant can accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 7.7 .7 seconds. According to our estimations, the base price of the BZ4X will be somewhere in the mid $30,000 range, with the most premium models costing more than $40,000. BMW i7 The all-new i7 is the new electric luxury vehicle that will share elements with the future BMW 7 Series but it will have a completely different electric powertrain and battery system. BMW has confirmed a range of 360 to 380 miles for the upcoming i7, which is expected to be powered by the same 100 kilowatt per hour battery as the BMW iX SUV. A 200 kilowatt public fast charging station will allow you to add a few more miles of range to the new i7 to avoid a long charging session and reach home promptly. The teaser photographs published by BMW suggest that the new i7 will look nothing like any BMW currently on the market. The BMW i7 is anticipated to be more expensive than the conventional BMW 7 Series because electric automobiles are typically more expensive than gasoline and diesel-powered counterparts. It is not out of the question that the i7 Series will begin at roughly $110,000. Fisker Ocean Electric SUVs are becoming increasingly popular, and Fisker Automotive intends to capitalize on this trend with its new Ocean SUV. The base trim model will have a range of 250 miles according to predictions. When fitted with an all-wheel drive dual-motor system, it may achieve speeds of up to 60 miles per hour in less than 4.0 seconds. On a single charge, the most powerful model is expected to go 350 kilometers according to estimates. Besides being a gorgeous SUV akin to the Range Rover Evoque in design, the Fisker Ocean for 2023 also offers a few unique features. A 17.1-inch touchscreen in the center of the dashboard can be rotated both vertically and horizontally, and the back glass can be opened to give a windswept inside, creating the illusion of a convertible. But only time will tell if the Ocean's range settings, performance claims, and parlor tricks will be enough to entice Tesla-obsessed people to purchase the vehicle. According to Fisker's early pricing announcements for the whole Ocean line, the basic Ocean model is expected to cost around $40,000 when completed. Tesla Cybertruck The Tesla Cybertruck may appear like it was delivered by extraterrestrials, but its technological prowess rivals even the most popular pickup trucks on the market. Tesla's Cybertruck will have a robust body constructed of scratch and dent resistant stainless steel. A towing capacity of 14,000 pounds is possible with the Cybertruck, which also has optional all-wheel drive and an anticipated driving range of more than 500 miles. A 250 kilowatt charging cable will be standard on all models. Of course, Tesla's extensive network of superchargers will be available to it as well. The driving range varies depending on the number of motors, but Tesla claims that a single motor can go 250 miles or more. Dual motors can travel 300 miles or more, and the top-tier tri-motor system can travel more than 500 miles on a single charge. According to how many electric engines they have, three distinct trims will be available for the Cybertruck. The most affordable model will start at $39,900. Audi A6 e-tron Audi prototype models of the forthcoming Audi A6 e-tron were spotted less than a week after the company unveiled a new A6 Avant e-tron estate concept. 
but the new Audi A6 e-tron will not be available until 2023. According to Audi, using a 100 kilowatt per hour battery, the Audi A6 e-tron concept vehicle can travel 435 miles on a single charge. The finished car is expected to come within striking distance of these figures. Furthermore, it can support up to a 270 kilowatt quick charging, which would allow you to recharge for 186 miles in under 10 minutes. It will be offered as a sedan and an Avant estate in 2023, with the most popular sedan. Since it was first conceptualized, the saloon's distinctive side appearance has remained almost unchanged. Although it is a massive vehicle, it shares its curved roofline with the more slimline Audi A7 rather than the current Audi A6, which makes sense. The starting price of the Audi A6 e-tron is not yet official, but it is likely to be around $79,000. VinFast VF8 When the VF8 was still in development in 2021, the electric SUV made its public debut at the Los Angeles Auto Show under the name VF E35. This Vietnamese electric SUV, previously known as the VF E35, has been rebranded and is scheduled to arrive in the United States in December of 2023. It is the less costly of two new all-electric SUVs going to the United States, both of which are funded by Vin Group, Vietnam's largest corporation. As the firm had released, the two-row VF8 will be powered by a dual-motor setup with a combined output of 400-plus horsepower, one on each axle. And, if this is the case, the VF8 will have a substantial edge over rival electric vehicles in its price range, according to the company. VinFast promises that it will be able to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.5 seconds. And regarding the vehicle's range, VinFast says that the twin-motor VF8 can drive 317 miles on a single charge. Albeit, this is only according to European standards, not American ones. According to the current estimates, the VinFast VF8 will have a starting price of around $41,000 in 2023 when it goes on sale. Nissan Aria The all-electric Aria SUV, which will be available for purchase in the United States in the fall of 2023, is a fresh addition to the company's electric vehicle roster. The Aria will be available in Nissan showrooms alongside the Leaf hatchback and will have a driving range of up to 300 miles, which is significantly longer than the Leaf's maximum range of 226 miles. Aria's design is a change from Nissan's previous harsh, angular aesthetics, which it replaces. While the Aria's low, broad stance separates it from its counterpart, the Rogue, the Aria has a sportier look. Front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive are also options as is a choice between two different battery sizes, a 63 kilowatt per hour basic battery and an optional 87 kilowatt per hour battery pack. Front wheel drive is the standard configuration, while all wheel drive is an option. These characteristics will enable Aria to compete with electric crossovers such as the Tesla Model Y and the Hyundai Kona Electric in the market for electric vehicles. Driver assistance features, information technology, and comfort features are just a few of the options available. While the starting price of the Aria is more than that of the Leaf and other low-cost electric vehicles, it is estimated to be lower than that of the Tesla Model Y's base price of $47,125. Volkswagen ID.5 This electric vehicle will be a game-changer for Volkswagen. It will only be available with the largest battery pack offered in the Volkswagen brand, a 77 kilowatt per hour unit with a range of up to 313 miles. With a rapid charger and a maximum recharge capability of 135 kilowatts, the ID.5 can be charged up to 80% in 29 minutes and be fully operational in 30 minutes. There are three different power levels to select, from 171 horsepower, 201 horsepower, and 294 horsepower for the GTX, which is the most powerful of the three. The 171 base horsepower ID.5 Pro can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour to 99 miles per hour in 10.4 seconds, and its battery can provide a range of 313 miles between charges. The 201 base horsepower Pro Performance has 201 base horsepower, which allows it to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 8.4 seconds and reach a top speed of 99 miles per hour. This 294 horsepower car accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.3 seconds. It can reach a top speed of 112 miles per hour. Even though it has greater power, it has a shorter range than the smaller versions, with a total range of 296 miles, which is 17 miles fewer than the lesser variants. 
This SUV will be available for purchase for a starting price of $67,000. Chevrolet Equinox EV The all-electric Chevrolet Equinox compact SUV will be on sale in the fall of 2023, replacing the current gasoline-powered model. The first photographs of this new vehicle reveal its elegant design and futuristic interior, which contrasts sharply with the present gas-powered Equinox. Chevrolet claims that it will have LT and RS versions available for purchase. The GM Ultium battery will be used in the Equinox EV, which is all we know about it mechanically. There are no official details on the battery's capacity or expected driving range, but we believe it'll need to be about 300 miles to compete with the current EV crossover market. The Equinox EV, in particular, has an appealing appearance, with a narrow top light strip up front and two lights below in a closed-off mall that resembles a grille. The front fenders are flared and the rear haunches are broad, giving it an athletic attitude. The abrupt back roofline sets it apart from the usual crossover. According to estimates, the Chevrolet Equinox EV is projected to have a starting price of around $30,000. Rivian R1 S Chicago-based EV startup Rivian already introduced a 7-passenger R1S utility vehicle to us. The first-ever R1S is aimed squarely at the Tesla Model X, which is now the only solid three-row all-electric SUV on the market. When the R1S goes on sale for more customers, it should cost less than the Tesla Model X. The R1S has a lot of similarities to the R1T pickup. The EPA estimates the 128.9 kilowatt per hour battery pack to provide 316 miles of driving per charge, which is the same as the R1Ts. Customers will be able to purchase the R1S directly from Rivian, and the company also plans to open service facilities and Tesla-like shops. Although Rivian intends to provide three alternative battery packs for the R1S in the future, only a 128.9 kilowatt hour pack is included in the R1S's initial model year. And of course, R1S should be able to get 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.0 seconds, according to Rivian. The starting price for the base model is around $85,000 before tax incentives. Kia EV9 According to a press release posted on Kia's website, the EV9 SUV will go into production in Europe in 2023, making it the first market to get it. The EV9 concept is a three-row all-electric SUV that is around the same size and shape as the Kia Telluride in terms of overall size and shape. Given that the Hyundai Ioniq 7 was also launched last year, we were previously aware that it would share many characteristics with this vehicle. In addition, the Kia EV6 and Hyundai Ioniq 5 are both constructed on an enlarged version of the eGMP platform, which will be utilized in both Kia and Hyundai's big electric SUVs in the near future. As reported by Kia, the electric vehicle, EV9, will have a maximum charging rate of 350 kilowatts and a range of upwards of 300 miles from a single charge. At this moment, we can only speculate, but we anticipate the US version will be ready in 2024 and will have a starting price of around $50,000. GMC Sierra EV GMC intends to offer two electric pickup trucks for the first time in the company's history. The GMC Sierra EV is anticipated to join the GMC Hummer EV on the market in 2023, and a teaser image provided by the company depicts what the vehicle's front end will look like when it arrives. With little doubt, the electric version of this truck will appear substantially more futuristic than the gas-powered version of the same vehicle. The Ultium battery packs designed by General Motors for the electric Sierra are intended to have a range of 400 miles. In addition to other characteristics, the fixed glass top and rear wheel steering of Chevrolet Silverado EV should be applicable to the GMC vehicle, among other things. GMC has not yet disclosed what trim levels it will offer for this truck because it is intended to be a more practical, daily vehicle than the GMC Hummer EV. But price estimates show that it can cost well into the six-figure range when fully equipped. VINFAST VF9 Vietnam's VINFAST VF9 is a battery electric SUV with three rows of seats offering adequate seating for six to seven people. When it was first revealed in teaser form, it was referred to as the VF E36. It is one of two vehicles from the brand to be made available in North America, the other being the smaller VF8. Additionally, the VF9 is more than a foot longer than its two-row VINFAST VF8 stablemate allowing for a bigger battery pack to be installed, resulting in increased operating range. 
VinFast forecasts that the VF9 will have a range of 423 miles on a single charge, whereas the VF8's range is 317 miles. When it comes to performance, the VF9 is similar to the VF8 in that it has a dual motor configuration, one on each axle, and a system output of 402 horsepower. Because of its larger size, the VF9 has a slower peak speed. VinFast predicts it will reach 60 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds, one second slower than the previous model. The VF9 three-row will be available for a starting price of around $65,000. Lexus RZ 450e The RZ 450e, Lexus's first electric car built from the ground up, is nearing production. Several new images of the SUV have been released by the manufacturer ahead of its debut when it is expected to compete with the Tesla Model Y and the Volkswagen ID4. The Lexus RZ is built on the same ETNGA platform as its BZ4X sister. Therefore, it will have the same 71.4 kilowatt per hour battery pack and dual motor drivetrain. For a 0 to 62 mile per hour speed of 7.7 .7 seconds and an all electric driving range of up to 280 miles, the Toyota system delivers 215 horsepower and 336 newton meters of torque. Additionally, the RZ will feature Direct 4, a four-wheel drive system that continually analyzes and changes the driving power to the wheels in response to throttle and steering inputs, as well as the road conditions. Although Lexus hasn't officially announced the RZ's beginning price yet, based on its length and similarity to its hybrid RX, we can expect the new model to be priced at the upper end of the company's SUV range, starting at at least $50,000. Tesla Roadster Tesla's first ever electric vehicle, the original Roadster, was essential in establishing the company's reputation, even if most of the company's current consumers are unaware of it. The all-new model was meant to come in 2021, but it hasn't arrived yet, leading us to believe that it has been postponed until further notice. Elon Musk stated that the new Tesla Roadster supercar could accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 1.9 seconds, reach a top speed of more than 220 miles per hour, and finish the quarter mile in 8.8 .8 seconds after introducing the vehicle in November of 2017. According to these figures, if the Roadster's top speed of 60 miles per hour remains constant, it will be a full second faster than its major competitor, the gasoline-powered McLaren 570S. Despite the fact that the 200 kilowatt per hour battery is claimed to have a range of up to 620 miles, a few laps around a racetrack will almost certainly considerably diminish that statistic. As reported by Tesla, the regular Roadster will cost over $200,000, with the Founders series totaling over $250,000.